breaking my neck, looking over my shoulder. Stepped into your skin, got me tripping over myself. Figured I would say something. What's up guys? My name is Katie and I'm your free step trainer for today. I've got a 30 minute full body hills and drills class that's geared for all of you that consider yourself intermediate exercisers. Now, if you don't consider yourself intermediate, there's certainly something here if you're more advanced or even beginner. Just listen to my cues and do the best that you can. That's all I ask. Now, 30 minutes, we will need to make sure that we're set up for the most success. So grab your water bottle, grab your towel, lock the door, close the blinds, kick your kids out of the room. Just make sure that you have the next 30 minutes just for you without distraction. And then perhaps most importantly, if you share your free step with other people in your household, make sure that your seat is set up for the perfect height for you so that when we start to get moving, you don't lock out your legs upon full extension. Okay, let's get started. All right, you guys, we are gonna be moving a bit slow. So grab your handles and start moving your legs. Find the beat around 20 plus or minus two. The name of this class is Hills and Drills and we are starting promptly on a hill. So let's adjust our resistance to match this cadence, match this speed. I need you somewhere medium to heavy, all right? So make that adjustment, nothing too crazy to start just enough resistance under your feet to allow you to hit this tempo with ease. You're not just breezing through it. So a couple things in terms of form, make sure your hips are rooted into the back of your seat. Make sure your spine is nice and long. It presses into the back of your chair. Now, when it comes to your grip, you'll notice that I've got my hands on top of my handles and I'm in this pushing and pulling motion. If you like this, then join me. But if you prefer, say something that's more of an underhanded grip or even overhand like so, totally cool, perfect place to experiment with what you prefer, all right? Cool. So again, resistance should feel a bit medium, slightly heavy, but nothing outrageous. Now we've got eight tracks in today's playlist. Our first track is geared just to get our bodies nice and warm. Good, we're just cruising right here, maintaining the tempo. It's so important that we spend time warming up instead of diving head first into a high intensity workout session. The body needs to feel prepared for the work ahead. Good, hands can be pushing and pulling on your handlebars. Be mindful of what's happening in your shoes. Heel pressing down in the base of your shoe. Uncurl your toes. Good, maintain that nice flat foot in each of your pedals. Now your warm up is gonna come to a close. We're actually, believe it or not, gonna go a bit slower. So right now we're on a medium to heavy hill. We're gonna be slowing down and hitting our first big heavy hill in class. You got about 30 seconds right here before that happens. Now this is a full body workout. If ever your upper body starts to feel too strained, if it's too strenuous, Nothing wrong with placing your hands on your hips or on the handles behind your seat. All right, you guys, we're gonna slow down a touch. High teens, low 20s. Resistance goes up by maybe one or two points. Let's make our adjustment. Good. Good, here we go. So all the artists featured in today's playlist are all independent artists. And you can find all these tracks on Spotify. And this particular artist, I don't know how you feel about Drake, but I can't help but hear a strong resemblance to Drake. 
could maintain somewhere in the high teens, low 20s. I'm right around 18 on my speed. Good, that's it. Now this is called hills and drills because as you guessed it, we're facing a lot of hill climbs. So that's heavier resistance and slower speeds. And then when it comes to drills, we'll be hitting resistance-based drills and speed-based drills. So you've got your first speed drill coming up. A couple things are gonna happen. Your resistance is gonna come down a bit lighter and I'm gonna ask that you pick up your pace, okay? Now it doesn't matter to me what number you hit. I just want you to perform those two actions I just described. Take some resistance off and pick up some speed. In three, two, one, here we go, let's go. Yeah. Good, we're here for about 20 seconds. Rocking it, you're looking so good. Five long seconds, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Slow it down. That resistance you took off, I need you to add it back. Nice, medium to heavy. Back on the beat, I'm right around 18. Good. That was round one, your second round is coming up. Just enjoy this tempo, enjoy this beat. 20 seconds we hit that second speed interval. So again, two things are gonna happen. Resistance comes down, legs quicken. In eight, in six, <laughs> four, three, two, one, let's go, come on. Yeah, 20 seconds here. I'm hitting right around 26, 27 on my speed. If you are going past low 30s, you're going too fast, add a bit more resistance. Hold it here, give me eight. You got six, four, three, two, slow it down. Leave your resistance where it's at. Good. Guys, you probably guessed it already. We're facing a lot of hills in today's class. Take your resistance up, medium to heavy, 20 plus or minus. Now again, this class was designed for someone with a bit of exercise experience under their belt. If you are finding any portions of this class too challenging, I welcome modifications. At the end of the day, I want you feeling successful from these sessions, not feeling defeated, all right? Again, 20 plus or minus, here we go. Now you've got a couple of pushes your way, 45 seconds each, Let's pick up our pace. Here we go. Three, two, one. Speed it up. Good. Ah. That's it, come on. You just hit the 15 second mark. You got 30 seconds left. Stay strong. Good, smooth, even pedal strokes, flat feet. Thirty seconds down. Now just fifteen to go. Yes. Don't forget to breathe. Big deep breaths. You got eight seconds. We'll slow down to whatever speed you like to recover. Three, two, one. Ease on up. Nice. Now you can also take your resistance down a bit for your recovery. Again, listen to your body, do what feels good, do what your body needs. Hold it here.
All right, guys, you can feel the music is building. If you took resistance off, I need you to add it back, medium to heavy. Second 45 second interval, speed it up. Let's go. Yes. Ah. Look, this should feel like a fight. This should not feel easy. You are one third of the way done with this push. Stabilize your upper body. Good. We're approaching the final 15 seconds in this interval right here, right now. You got it, come on. Yes, less than 10 seconds. Speed comes down, resistance comes down. In three, two, one, let it all come down. Good work. Woo. Perfect time to grab yourself a sip of water, grab your towel. We'll be transitioning to a flat road, so take your resistance down light if you have not already. When it comes to your speed, it's gonna feel pretty quick. High 20s, low 30s, all right? Now guys, I'm not gonna lie, when I hit speeds of this nature, I sometimes wanna take my hands off the handlebars just feels a bit too much for my upper body. So I invite you to do the same if it feels good for you. You can rest your hands on your hips. You can even place your hands on the handles behind your seat. Good. So we've transitioned to a heavy hill. We're now enjoying what should feel like a flat road. So again, quick speeds, light resistance. Good. Now we're gonna add a touch of resistance for 20 seconds, join me. Add something a little more. That can be just one or two or three points. Something that feels different from where you started. Good, resistance comes back down right here. Take it off. Yeah. All right. So the best things come in pairs. That was round one. Second round, another 20 second push based on resistance is coming your way. Just enjoy this moment. Good, big deep inhale through your nose. Big exhale through your mouth. Twenty seconds on the clock, we add something new. In three, two, one, let's go. Yeah. Final few moments here. Eight, six, Four, three, two, take that resistance off. Keep your legs moving, whatever speed feels good. Yeah, that's it. Now, if you're finding it really challenging to maintain this tempo and you gotta slow down, Totally cool in my book, all right? We got about 60 seconds here. We're just kind of chilling, trying our best to maintain this quick speed. Now in a few moments when this track wraps up, a couple of things to share in terms of good news. Number one, you'll have hit the halfway point of class. And number two, we're gonna slow things down and hop on a moderate hill. So why don't we start that right now? Let's adjust your resistance.
so that you slow down into the low 20s. This should feel like medium, perhaps medium to heavy. Good, low 20s. 20 all the way up to 23, 24. All right, I'm getting my arms back in the mix. Yeah. How you doing? You still with me? Cool. We got this, you guys. So, we are now officially in the halfway point of class, at the halfway point. Good. 20 to 23 or 24, right here. So I personally love facing a hill on my free step. Don't get me wrong, I love moving at those quick speeds as well, but I much prefer the slower, steadier tempos. Especially when a song like this comes on and it's just so easy, so almost effortless to move to the beat of the music. Good. So what's happening with your hands, with your grip? Are you finding that it's nice and comfortable to push down on your handles or to even pull them from up top? If your legs are starting to feel fatigued right now, the beauty of your machine is your arms can also lend a hand, quite literally. All right, guys, your next drill is coming up. Here's how it's gonna go down. We're gonna accelerate for eight counts. We'll come back to the beat for eight counts, and we'll do that a few rounds, all right? So when you accelerate, I want you to think about moving with control. Here we go, in four, three, two, one, let's go. Give me eight, six, Four, three, two, back to the beat. Eight counts. Six, four, three, two, one, let's go. You got it. You got four, three, two, slow it down. Eight, six, we're jumping back in. In four, three, two, one, go. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, ease on up, breathe. We're gonna do that a couple more times, stay with it in four, three, two, speed it up, eight counts. Three, two, one, recover. Two more times, okay, stay with me. Four, three, Two, one, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let it go. Eight, seven, six, last time, give it your best. Four, three, two, one, go. Crushing it, you got four, three, two, slow it down, yes. Ah, oh, good work. Back on that B. Low 20s. Now I'm giving you plenty of time to recover. We are gonna be hopping back on a heavy hill. This class should actually be called Hills and Drills and More Hills. There's so many hills, but I love it. Hopefully you love it too. All right, you guys, in a few moments, legs are gonna slow way down. We're moving on a heavy hill. Leg speed will be in the high teens, low 20s. 
why don't we make that adjustment now as this track wraps up? So medium to heavy, veering closer to heavy on your resistance, okay? Good, allow your legs to slow down. Now when I say high teens, low 20s, I'll give you a big range to work with. 17 all the way up to 21 or 22. Good, there we go. And just like that, three more songs left. So, heavy hill right here. 17 to 21 or 22. Now it is winter when I'm recording this video. So depending on when you watch this, I'm not sure if it'll still be winter when you watch this, but this song in particular makes me think of being on a tropical beach somewhere. It definitely conjures up feelings of summer. We've been experiencing some snow in my neck of the woods, but today the sun came out. So there's really something promising about when you see the sun after what feels like a pretty long winter. Spring is right around the corner. All right, guys, your next drill. We're gonna accelerate for 35 seconds. And I'm gonna give you a target to aim for. So right now we're cruising in the high teens, low 20s. When we accelerate, I want you to reach for something in the mid 20s, perhaps even higher, okay? So nothing I've never asked you to do before. It's always nice to have a target a goal, something to reach for. You're gonna accelerate for 35 seconds, mid to high 20s. Let's go, pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> That's it. You've just about hit that 15 second mark. 20 seconds to go. Excellent, you've got this. Eight, just six, slowing down in four, three, two, let it go. Good work. Now we've just got a couple more hills ahead of us and then class will come to a close. So I want you to lighten your resistance just a little bit. We're gonna be squarely in medium territory. Low 20s right here. Good, low 20s. So let's say 20 all the way up to 23. Kind of hard to hear the beat of the music, so just breathe. Perhaps use the first few moments of this track as a bit of active recovery. So as far as your roadmap goes, all you have ahead of you are 30 second intervals. So 30 second drills. Two on this track, two in your finale track, okay? Good, I just noticed myself going really fast. I need to just slow it down. I think I got excited with the promise of all of these intervals leading us to that finish line. So 20 to 23. Let's speed it up, here we go, 30 seconds.
Good, remember to breathe. Try not to hold your breath. Sometimes when we get stressed out, we hold our breath. Less than 10 seconds right here. Four, three, two, slow it down. Good job. Good job. Take this time as recovery. I always like to remind myself in times between intervals to attempt to regain control of my breath. All right, if you consider yourself an advanced exerciser, I welcome you to add a touch more on your resistance. Otherwise, just stay right here and let's get ready to tackle that second 30 second push right here, right now. Let's go. That's it. That's it, you're hitting that halfway point. 15 seconds down, 15 to go. Eight counts, that's it. Eight, you got six, so good. Four, three, two, back on up. Nice. Slow down to whatever feels good. I always like to recover on the beat. Low 20s. Guys, the best news ever, perhaps what you've been waiting for me to say all class, your final song is literally right around the corner. So when it comes to your speed, 22, to 25, so still kind of in that low to mid 20s range. Resistance will get a little bit lighter. Yeah, a little bit lighter. So we just had two 30 second pushes. All we have ahead of us are two more, okay? So lock in that beam. Good, I'm hovering right around 23 on my speed. Now, if you want to, again, experiment with a different hand grip position, perfect time. Now, this song kind of has a fake out. It feels like there's a build up to the music right now, but I'm gonna ask that you wait a little bit longer before we accelerate, all right? Crazy to think that almost 30 minutes has come and gone. Take this moment right here before you accelerate to look back on all that you've accomplished. You are so close to wrapping up your investment of time and your body and your health today. Here we go, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go for it. <laughs> yeah, you know that feels good. Come on. Halfway there, 15 seconds down, 15 to go. Less than 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, slow it down. Well done. <laughs> oh yeah. So you know how this story wraps up. One more push is all I'm gonna ask of you. Now, let's make this a bit more gritty, a bit more challenging, because we came here to do hard things. We came here to challenge ourselves. Reach down, add something a little new to your resistance. Good, that's it. So slightly heavier than where you started.
Fill your lungs up with fresh air. Good, big exhalation. Guys, 30 seconds, final push in four, three, two, one, let's go. Nice job, stay with it. Remind yourself this is not supposed to feel easy. If this is challenging, that's a good thing. I'm proud, I'm glad. Here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let it go. So good. Allow your legs to slow back down to the beat. Take your resistance all the way down. Keep your legs moving. Yes. So again, that was a hills and drills class with a lot more hills peppered in. Keep your legs moving. We're gonna attempt to cool down our body and to regain control of our breath. So when it comes to your speed right now, the number does not matter, just so that you keep your legs moving. We don't just wanna to come to a complete stop after pushing our bodies. We wanna ease into the workout and then ease our way back out. Now I'm just gonna go through a couple of very basic stretches on your free step after class wraps up, but I encourage you to do a bit more stretching afterwards, just because your body needs it, and it'll allow you to come back the next time to your free step, feeling good and feeling strong. Whenever you're ready, come to a complete stop. Good, sit up nice and tall, and just press one foot flat into your pedal, keeping the opposite knee softly bent. You wanna make sure that you don't lock out your leg when you fully extend it. Good, switch it over whenever you're ready. Just remember to breathe. Good, release your foot, allow both legs to come to a nice neutral position. Shake out your wrists. You might notice that you've built up some tension by gripping onto your handlebars. Totally normal, just shake them out, even wiggle your fingers a bit. And then take a big inhale breath, sweep your arms overhead, close your eyes as you slide your hands down to heart center, looking back on what you just did, feeling proud and feeling grateful your body allows you to move. Guys, thank you again for spending 30 minutes training with me. My name is Katie and I hope to see you soon. Bye.